Hello, this is Kevin. And Cynthia's with me. Hello. And where are we today? Well, we are at Furnest Furnace. Um, they've got a um, display going on at the moment. We've got it just at the wrong time because they've just finished doing their bits or pieces, I think. They will be back. Oh no, hang on, let's listen. Ready? Let's have a wander around this way and see what happens. They've got a reenactment going on. It seems that there's a gentleman in a yellow jacket. It's his 50th birthday, so he's. Um, okay, can we have oh. two files now, please? Two files. I don't need to say anything. I think it's going to everything's going to be unfolding in front of us. I, I, I don't think it's what your commander officer was expecting exactly. Seems so he's going to run down the between the aisles and he's going to get clouted over the head okay, with gauntlets. So <laughs> he's, he's even limbering up. He's even limbering up. Here he goes. Here he goes. And he's going to be coming out this far end of the the aisles. Is he enjoying it too much? <laughs> 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 now he's stopped and I'm really giving him some. Yeah, I know the job. 
With more enthusiasm would be nice this time. through the woods. See what else is going on. We've got caravans pitched up in tents and over the field over here. We've just had a quick look at the birds of prey to see what they are. We saw a kestrel there was tiny, absolutely minute. But we're heading down around this way now and hopefully heading towards the furnace furnace. And we've got the lovely smell of wood burning. Homewood fencing, different type there. You've got two, two sizes of fence there, a chestnut fencing. You've got the longer ones, which are, what, about four foot, four foot, four foot six. And then you've got the three foots underneath. Very clever, like that. Oh, yeah. This is where all the goodies are. Got lamb cooking there. Firing pottery in the charcoal camp kilns. That's a kiln going there. The men's rural toilets. As Cynthia quite rightly said just now, when we came here last time, this path either side had, was packed with different stalls going on, different things happening, there was wood working going on and there was metal work going on. Um, but I think it's just a sign of the times that there's just not so many people ab about doing these things. But it was absolutely packed. But there's only, what well, we've only seen one, two, three, four at the moment, by the looks of it, on this bit, and there was probably 40 or 50 when we came here last. I would have thought so. Yeah, wasn't there? Yeah. yeah. Well, I suppose people couldn't plan ahead, could they? No, that's they right. weren't sure what would be happening. There's evidently been a lot of work going on down here to bring this all up. It has been a lot. This just shows you what they've been doing, re restoring all this down here. And you've got the little boards along the side there that tell you what was standing where. So you can see where the water used to run through from the, the lake behind us. So they've been uncovering a lot of this and then rebuilding it all. And on the right hand side there you've got the number eight which is where the wheel pit was and then just beyond that uh, you've got number six which was the casting pit another bit that says the tapping arch number two is bellows number three is bellows arch and then a charging ramp on the left hand side. Hmm. It's fascinating how they're using all the digging all the stone up and reusing it.
anybody thinks that he's had a he's had a witness like And the last time Cynthia and I came here, none of this was here at all. This has been, I'm assuming, uncovered, but certainly been rebuilt. Because um, we disappeared up through that way, and to do and to do a walk up through. There is a walk that they can can do here um, up to. Is it a priory, Cynthia? Well, I think the priory is the other side of the road. I'm not sure. Um, but there is a public footpath sign coming straight through. So yeah, that's right. They must yeah. have it temporarily. But you can see there's a huge amount of work going on here to preserve all this, which is fantastic to see. And they've got all the fencing up to protect the safety fence. People can't get through and fall into the lakes. Fantastic to see all this going on. They are trying to reproduce what was originally So, what part of the process is this? Because this wasn't here before. We, I don't know, well, it was un uncovered. I was going to say, it was. You were walking it was just hiding. We were walking all, all over it and ruining it for you. Basically, the dam was just carried straight along, and this spillway was cut through the dam, and right. this was the water control. Okay. Uh, we would have been able to show you where they. Uh, the ropes had worn the stone away when they raised and lowered the sluice boards to control the level to control of the pond, the, the which would water. again allow the right amount of water to go through the water wheels. Right, which then do the bellows. Because they didn't have roller bearings and mineral grease in those days. Sure. It was only animal fat to lubricate it. So you'd only want the water wheels to turn two or three revs a minute. Oh, okay. And so you had to control the water this end relative to the amount of water. So this is the hydro the water station to feed. There <laughs> yeah. we go. Yeah. That's right. So when the and water ran through, did it run over it? No, it ran down the middle of it. There is okay. the, the, the left hand slightly paler yellow is actually an archway and you could easily walk down it. Just say Ben and I walked down it many well not together. But, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That was a favourite Past time the kids ran yeah. here to walk up there. <laughs> yeah. um, so it could get you either side of the sluice gate to yeah. do all that. And uh, ah. they were underpinning it and a uh, slight mishap took place. Oh bless that, them. That bit fell off. It didn't hit anyone though, did no. it? No. Thankfully it took about an hour to happen. So no one was hurt in the uh, It was a gradual a gradual crack. Yeah. <laughs> but of course since then and that happened probably six weeks ago. Oh. Uh, the weather window will break soon. Mm. And, um, yes. I don't know what's going to happen. It's a what? A bear. A bear. When a furnace is blown out at the end of a campaign, it has to be relined with bricks. A bear is a solidified collection of debris, etc., at the bottom of the old furnace. This is the first one to be found on the site. Wow. I wonder why they call it a bear. I don't know. An incomplete fire back. Possibly the last item to be cast at Furnace, North Park Furnace. She's fresh out of the breeding chamber. So she's here to get used to the noises. Once we finish flying, I will get her out, I will take her hood off and I will stand with her on the static display so she gets to see everything that's going on, which preps her up for next year's display work and hawk walks, where she'll be not bomb-proof, but she won't be scared of things, okay? We want her to get used to things as quickly as possible. She's not used to the glove, so we sit at home with her for hours. This is how we start training a young bird. Okay, 
I'm going to count to three, and this lovely audience is going to shout out as loud as possible on well, helping me to count to three, guys. Okay? Because he's only got a few seconds left on this planet. Right, come with me, please. Come over here. Get her in a box, Max, please, if possible. Watch your fingers. Right. So, let me just get her in the box. Oh. Put a bit of food in there. That's, she's like, no, stuff this. What's this? Get in there. Get in there, good girl. Right. Right, when we do, when we just cover her up. So what's going to happen? This young man's going to run, like I said, 46 miles an hour. We're all going to count to three. And on, on three, he's going to run. You're going to run really, really fast towards Max. Max, pull that perch out. The ground, please, so she doesn't have a pit stop. We want her to work nice and hard. Go muscles, that's a good boy. Right, here's the pretend rabbit, look. See that? That's real rabbit. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's going to go on the floor. You're going to take that in your hands. Right, and right, okay, bit of health and safety. Run, don't look behind you, because you, you might fall over. Run that way as fast as possible. When I shout out stop, you've got to stop. Okay? Yes? Good. Right, remember, stop is the words. Run and stop are very important words. When you get to the end, you're going to fall on the floor and pretend you're dead. You're going to roll the floor, go, ugh, like that, or do something, okay? Because she would have caught you. Right? Are you ready? Wait a minute, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. I'm going to put her there so she doesn't see that while I get her ready. Right, one. Well, actually, no, 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 wait, right. Ready, audience? So, we're going to do a slow count. So one, two, and three, and so on, okay? Ready? One, one two, two, three, three. run, run, cheer him on, cheer him on! Louder! Cheer him on! Stop! Goodbye, yes! Good round of applause. That's the good Lay down. Lay down. That's it. Good boy. Well done. Brilliant. Yes, stand up, young man. Good job. Give him another big round of applause. That was a rubbish round of applause. That was loud. Now, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Right, what we're going to do now, we're going to bring her back over there. And we're going to show you how we get the birds off of a kill, if you'll let me. Nice and quickly in the middle of the arena so everyone can see. As you can see, she's quite trusting with me. I can do this with her quite a lot. Again, it's the routine. It's part of the routine. Okay, Max has got a bit of food in his hand. He's going to wait. And what we're going to do, we're going to do a trade-off. I can't just push you off for that. Come here, come here, come here. I can't just push you off for that kill because she'll get the hump. She thinks I'm going to steal from her. We want, her, we want to get her trust. And gents, come on, she's a female. You know what happens when you take a female's belongings. They get the proper hump. We don't want mm. to, uh, to happen. So, we clean her beak. And plus, we don't want her to eat that rabbit because that's the rabbit we're going to cook ourselves a nice casserole of watership down with. <laughs> okay, so we clean her beak. Throw to one side quick. Get the mouse. Let go. Let go. We do a trade-off. We throw a bit of food to one side. We get the rabbit. We neck the rabbit. We put it in our game bag and we carry on hunting. Give this young man a big round of applause. Go back to your parents. Well done, mate. Brilliant. Good job. Okay, that's the little hunting demo. That's how we... <laughs> Flavour of the day, what was it called? Plum crumble. Pl oh, crumble. I'll, I'll put a camel down, sorry. Plum. 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 <laughs> plum crumble ice cream. Yeah. From Dylan's. Dylan's. Local, 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 very local. We've had a walk round. We've actually just stopped and spoken to the people that run the furnace, furnace and they very kindly agreed for us to meet up with them to talk in more detail about what they're doing here and what, of course, what they've uncovered and the history of the place, um, which I think is very good. Excellent. So this will be Kevin and Cynthia saying bye-bye and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, bye, bye-bye. As people still come in, look, amazing, brilliant.
Kevin's view is everywhere, all over the south and even in the north where I am. This is, just look a bit, just look behind me for a second. Look at that. You don't see that on certain other videos. Anyhow, we're at Kirk Andrews Church. Kirk Andrews on Esk in the Scottish borders. And this is Kirk Andrews Church. Just look at that behind me. Ta da! That is magnificent. I've never seen anything like it. This is an amazing church. If you're ever up this way, come and see it. Speaking of up, press that button down there, folks, to subscribe and like to Kevin's Rambles, like I do. And you can see wonderful places like this. Just look at this. It is incredible. I won't go on for too much longer because. Hello, Kevin's here. No, this is Rob. See you all soon. Like, describe. Like, subscribe. Thank you.